Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Land Rover Range Rover Velar and straight away we are going to open the engine bay of this vehicle. Now this is the engineer motor, little dusty somehow. Yeah, it is quite a lot dusty at the moment and as you can see the engine bay is actually quite compact yet it can accommodate bigger cylinder engines anyways there is insulation right there and uh, of course the car looks gorgeous but for that we have to shut the engine bay of course as you can see the design is really very nice it says range rover at the front nice land rover grille and of course you've got this copper treatment here which kind of feels out of place on this car front parking sensors there's no front parking camera by the way headlight washers which obviously work really nicely spray a lot of water as well and the lights are beautiful these are led lights it gets led drls and these dynamic swipe indicators they swipe from the inside to the outside they are also a theater without a doubt obviously you get these black treatment on the lower half of the front bumper as well and in this white color the car actually looks quite gorgeous somehow but you know those copper treatment like okay it's here as well along with the gloss black finish it's here as well range rover written right there this seems out of place should have been all blacked out even the wheels they happen to be 255 50 20s and while they are on the larger side obviously they look big there's a lot of brake dust right now over there however i mean this should have been blackened that would have looked really cool i don't know why land rover missed out on that although you've got gloss black finish on the outside rear view mirror on the roof as well on the pillars but from the side you realize this is a very sexy looking car it's long it's low slung and just looks very unique on the road without a doubt okay the rear wheel is also the same size which happens to be a 255 50 20 so there is good amount of profile for the tires for an suv actually most of these suvs with the r dynamic package or the top end trim have very low profile tires it says r dynamic here just in case you forget that you're driving a sporty trim because the wheels are definitely not going to remind you at all about the same now coming to the rear the lights again are beautiful okay again you get dynamic swipe indicators which swipe from the inside to the outside and they look theater okay when this is not being used it is actually used by the brake light land rover written right there the car looks really sexy from any angle you look at it it's so well done it says villar here p250s meanwhile what you want to do is we're going to try and use the gesture control of the rear tailgate so here i'm going to try and do some gestures and see if the boot actually opens yeah there it comes and there it opens so yeah gesture control works beautifully well too meanwhile this car gets a full size spare wheel that's right it's a full size spare wheel wow an suv having a full size spare wheel is something which you really don't see often boot is big enough you want to increase the boot carrying capacity no problem just press this button there it reclines press this button there it reclines so that actually increases the storage carrying capacity of this vehicle and there's a hook here there's a hook here as well there are so many hooks in this car i don't know what you want to hang in a range of villar there's a 12 volt charging socket here as well so very practical in that sense anyways press this button to close the rear tailgate power tailgate which is a very nice thing indeed first and foremost okay the car is locked press this button there it comes off the door handle which is absolute theater very much like the jaguar f type actually and yeah it's a little bit of an effort to shutting that meanwhile i have to show you a lot more things so i'm just going to take some time to show you the doors there this is so beautiful the way the doors come out actually when you unlock the vehicle here press the button there the doors come out that is so nice right there it goes Meanwhile, when you lock or unlock the vehicle, the outside rear view mirrors also retract and at night they actually project the silhouette of this vehicle on the road. Cool? Absolutely cool. Okay, where is the rear wiper? Does it have one? Obviously it does. Like all Range Rovers, the rear wiper actually is hidden somewhere here. You can't see it. Very nicely done. Hidden under the roof spoiler, which by the way has a light here and is also finished in gloss black. Bus. We got a nice shark fin antenna now another attention detail is the fact that this is a reverse parking camera there's a spray here yes it actually sprays water on the reverse parking camera to ensure that when you go off road you can still see stuff when you go into reverse it's a lot of great attention to detail on this car anyways i can't get over opening and closing the door time and again there it opens 
So the rear door pockets are decent sized and uh, you know what you can adjust the recline angle of the backrest by pressing this button here. So you see that it's coming up and uh, yeah that's a lot upright unnecessarily upright but some people like it that way that's what she said. Now I'm going to put it back all the way so this is also powered the backrest which is indeed a nice thing. Getting inside you realize that this is less SUV and more sedan because first and foremost as you can see this line is quite high. The window area is small so it doesn't really give you a good view of what's around and it doesn't feel that airy somehow however it's not claustrophobic at all because you get a massive yeah that's a massive you know panoramic roof so you want to open it it won't open unless and until i turn on the vehicle there now we're going to open it there it's opening meanwhile it's got a four zone climate control as well okay look at that that is big okay that is big that's what she said brings in a lot of airy feeling inside the cabin without a doubt okay there's a hook here there's a handle the light placements here on the side it gets six airbags by the way hook handle another light placement here as you can see the leg room and knee room is just about adequate under thigh support is decent headroom is also decent however this is not really a spacious car as such although it's wide enough for three people to sit now there's a center armrest with twin cup holders right there and it also gets charging sockets here they are twin usbs so land rover loves usbs because there's so many usbs in this car it's absolutely ridiculous so good amount of space on offer yeah it kind of feels you know practical because of all that and more so as you can see the dashboard looks really very nice very sporty indeed but we'll come to that in a bit it gets a four zone climate control yeah these are actually the controls for the climate control system at the rear and it also gets a 12 volt charging socket here as well but there's a hump here which means that three people cannot sit in comfortably magazine holders along with scooped out seat back again practical enough let's quickly get to the front seat and let me tell you that you know compared to the previous villa which was on sale this trim has a lot more features as standard which is certainly a good thing now door pockets are large enough at the front but i'm a little disappointed because you know the switch gear is here lower i'm so used to it being over here in land rovers it gives you that presence anyways lock and unlock memory seat buttons you can save up to three people settings for the driver's seat this is the child lock button which not only locks the windows but also the doors power window controls controls for the outside rear view mirror meridian sound system 3d watt is the output and this is a 10-way adjustable driver's seat yeah it's very comfortable and it's powered of course meanwhile the co-driver seat is also powered but it doesn't get memory settings however you can lock the car from there anyways there's a big enough dead pedal right there brake pedal is big too this is actually the headlight leveler this is the handbrake of the vehicle this is to open the boot of the car i don't know why they've drilled holes here but it gets electric adjust for the steering wheel that's right it gets electric adjust for the steering wheel something you really don't see in even mercedes and audi cars at this price point which actually shows that land rover has gone ahead and put in a lot of features and because i'm in this position right now i can show you a secret storage space yeah here there's some amount of storage space as well it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to have a storage space which is that hidden and inaccessible anyways straight away let me tell you that the doors shut with a proper thud and every time you you know open the car the seat actually moves behind so you know if i exit the car i press this button the seat okay the steering is going up and the seat is going behind well that's just to make it easier to get in and out of the vehicle so here when i actually turn on the vehicle there you see the steering went a bit down the seat is rising to get into my position which i've already set now this is to lock the vehicle from the co-passenger side at the co-driver side and the glove box is actually decent size it's a cool glove box and it also gets a locking function so you can lock the glove box it's a lockable glove box that's again very cool material everything looks really nice i love the steering i love the way it's like a rim here and obviously feels great to hold these are the touch sensitive buttons okay this is for the cruise control these buttons actually change color depending on the function you're using paddles feel really nice as well okay let's turn on the vehicle straight away there it rose to life auto dimming inside rear view mirror and massive panoramic roof which also opens but obviously not completely so right now as you can see the roof is opening and uh, you know it brings in a lot of airy feeling press it once again nothing happens because that is the maximum it's going to open so yeah that's that anyways the seat belts are not height adjustable which is a bit disappointing and you obviously get a mirror along with light here same is the case here as well mirror along with a light air conditioning making some noise right now so you're going to shut it right away now the thing is that this screen actually retracts when you turn off the vehicle so when i turn it off and when i get off see that thing will actually retract okay why is it not retracting it takes some time actually somehow it takes around five to seven seconds to do that there land rover goes I had to turn off the car, actually lock the vehicle and there the screen actually retracts back. And you know what? The sun blind also shuts automatically. If you forget to shut the sun blind, no problem at all. It will do it on its own because it realizes that 
you know it should not be open when you're out of the car because it's just going to get in light unnecessarily prying eyes anyways it says our dynamic on the instrument cluster let's turn on the vehicle okay i've turned on the vehicle automatically retracting the sun blind so cool right now this center console is massive that's what she said there's a cup holder here there's space for coins there's a 12 volt charging socket and this is not the easiest to open but there's a cup holder here as well now below the front center armrest there's good amount of storage space along with a sim slot twin usb slots and a 12 volt charging socket i mean how many devices do you need to charge when you're driving a range rover absolutely crazy isn't it says land rover here just in case you forget which car you are driving and these are the dual screens the 10 inch touch pro duo so first and foremost you can actually adjust the very angle of the screen by pressing this button so you can recline it all the way or make it upright as well so here it's shut so it's just making it more convenient to put it according to your personal preference it's got multiple ambient light colors as well so you can decide that too now this particular screen on the top is basically for the media navigation and the phone as well as to get into the cameras so there's the camera it gets a reverse parking camera so if i get into reverse that is a reverse parking camera it obviously gets guidelines adaptive guidelines that is and you know parking sensors are obviously there at the front and the rear so it gets this 360 degree parking alert system which will actually help you park the vehicle meanwhile uh, okay here we go back into the screen it's a little laggy it's not the quickest as such navigation is also decent but right now it does not have maps installed so it says put the usb device right now in it now this lower screen can get a bit distracting now they've removed physical buttons just to you know get so screeny screeny here but the problem here is i mean it's not the easiest to browse through this obviously you get used to it so you can get into climate and adjust the climate it gets a four zone climate control system like i already told you this is for the vehicle settings it gets auto terrain response to system so this is for to turn off stop start system this is for basically all terrain progress control and basically a lot of off-road modes here so this is for dynamic mode yeah this is for eco mode this is for comfort mode and every time you change anything here it also changes here yeah it tells you comfort program selected in the instrument cluster too now you have all these things which are there in almost every land rover car like grass gravel snow program mud ruts program and this obviously happens to be the sand program right now we're going to get into eco because we are cheap af and i have turned off stop start system so the car doesn't keep turning on and off there's having eco so you can actually browse through the modes by you know actually selecting this as well there it goes now it's selected it's showing the dynamic mode here so this uh, dial is really very cool but this dial is actually for the air conditioning i can decide how much i want the fan speed to be or i can also decide what i want the temperature to be so really very flexible rotary dials meanwhile this is the control for the volume now these buttons this is for max ac this is for the defogger settings this is to turn off traction control and this is for downhill assist just getting this pressed is not so easy because it doesn't feel that intuitive somehow but now it's turned off the traction control so it could have been better for sure now this gear lever actually reclines okay it vanishes when you turn off the vehicle so here we turn it off there it goes back inside when you turn it on it actually comes outside yeah there it goes so that is super cool as well now i spoke a lot about the screens but i don't like the screens as much because they're not the quickest around not the most intuitive as such however this instrument cluster which is a digital unit is also pretty nice so you can get a lot of things done here itself so you can get into the menu there's so many things it's really exhaustive as such but my personal favorite happens to be the fact that i can actually change the way it looks yes so there is the setting for two dial or single dial as well it obviously gets a tire pressure monitoring system here we are into display and into display layout there let's go to one dial and there we are into one dial cool right there you see the villar is on the left i can decide what i want on the left what i want on the right i can decide if i want a map or something that is the digital speedometer absolutely looks cool and nice as well now the wipers really work very well on this vehicle as you can see yeah a lot of spray on offer and if the headlight is on the headlight washers also work simultaneously anyways let's play an audio right away audio quality is really very nice i mean it feels like a disco inside that is a level of audio from this 380 watt meridian sound system the car also gets hill launch assist as well as an activity key which you can wear and go for a swim and it says our dynamic here by the way i have to show you something at the rear which i missed out on because the vehicle was off and that is the four zone climate control system or the rear air conditioning controls again i love the way the dials work they're really very nice and slick as well so you can increase or decrease the fan speed ac vents in the center they are there at the side as well so as you can see the car is very loaded now and of course feels premium 
love the beige treatment love the design love the way it kind of you know hugs the driver because of the way the console has been done the center console which although is really nice to look at is a little distracting somehow but how is it to drive well let's get going right away the lane keep assist works brilliantly well what it does is basically it pulls the car back into the lane okay you have two options either you want steering to vibrate or you want the steering to actually move and bring you back into the lane so both of these options are available and lane keep assist actually is able to read the engine markings which is actually very surprising 